Gentlemen, also heute sind die zu Klagenfurt, Bayer Traunstein, Salzburg, für mich hier Pleasant Journey. Those are the. All right. Don't know if you can see that sign, but Joyce and I are here in <laughs> Salzburg. Yes, we're and oh my God, we rode with a woman who didn't talk to us, but she didn't shut up for four she hours. Did not. That was not the she most was a. Ride. She was, was an educator from a private. Um, Protestant school, Evangelische school. Oh, and she, she had a colleague, wonderful. and She's she was the greatest good. thing yeah. to education ever. All she the great was programs, super. yeah. Oh, just so. Uh, yeah. Our train we rode on the IC with these Austrian cars, and these are the car types of cars I've been looking for. So I'll be looking for them. We actually had a we had a tourist, <laughs> but we did have we did have the problem where they. Root up our reservation, even though they said your reservation will be fine. No, they weren't. Oh, there's a rail jet. So, just checking out some of the trains here. Okay, so we will go down to the main hall and see what's happening. So, we're on one side, but. Uh, I guess we'll film some trams and buses for a couple of people. Uh, this is one side of the Salzburg station. You gotta go back in and go out the other way. Because Google Maps uh, <laughs> fails to orient itself. You know. So there you go. There's a tram in the city of Salzburg. We are in the heart of Salzburg. We are 30 seconds from our apartment building. And if you didn't know, Salzburg has a couple of big mountains in the middle of the city. <laughs> and this is the first one. <laughs> now this is not the Altstadt, although the Altstadt is down this way and then curl to the right around the front of the mountain. Uh, Oh, we'll get some more. All right, Joyce and I are just uh, working our way through. We're not in the Altstadt. We're just heading down. We're going to do a little evening stroll around just to get a vibe for where we're at and plan our day tomorrow. Yeah. Again, we're not hitting the main historical section yet. It's just couple of streets. We're heading towards the river where hopefully we will catch some of the sights. Yeah, you can see the castle which is technically on the other side of the river. Okay, yeah I guess we can. Definitely seems a lot of action that way. Electric bus, almost like a tram. All right, do you want to head that way? Okay, well, yeah, it does. We got 7, 7.30 at night. We got two more going on. This is the old Presbyterian College. There is not the well-defined pedestrian zone like you see in a lot of the German tourist cities we've had. <laughs> but, uh, that's cool. All right, let's go across. Okay, well, hang on, you guys. I'm gonna have to turn this this way. Yeah, 7:30. 
All right. Well, we're now running basically along the river, but we're slowly coming into. Oh, I think you can tell now. Somebody's taking a huge group to Losteria. But now, this is pedestrian zone, full pedestrian zone. Grottelmacher, belt maker. Yeah. Well, this is what, a Wednesday? See a lot of young people out. Uh, maybe, maybe their school's out. All right, there's Kansai Zilba, Leder Agasa, Leather Street. <laughs> I really want to find my way down to the river, but this might be the best way to go. It's a foot locker, but look at the old wood carvings along the side of the building. is I can't get anything in widescreen. All right, we are coming up to the river. So, so the castle's to your left. Oh, that's the bridge I was trying to get to. Oh well, not a big deal. But still, you're gonna like what you see. On the hundreds of prisoners of war and enforced workers, from 1941 to 1945, against their wills, uh, built this bridge. Yep. And of course, somebody self-conceited decides it's a place to check themselves out. I wish people didn't need to use everything as their modeling and self-absorption. Look, I'm so pretty. The Salzach River. Oh, look, you can go down. <laughs> That's a pretty river. But turn around if you haven't yet. Oh, okay. Innsbruck, yeah. Yep. Because that's one of the things we want to go up and then the hill, which ends down over here, um, you go up and they, get, and they give you a great view straight across to the castle. So... Um, 
it's up to you. Um, there's there's some most some things that way, but this it's Salzburg, so really the cool stuff. I don't know if you want to save it till tomorrow when you really have time, rather than get a sneak peek of it, let it kind of hit you. But yeah, you go through there, like you can see the towers of the old cathedral, the old smart, the old square is over there. The market square was back here, but the old square is just on the other side of those buildings. I had, I've tried, I've been trying to get my bearings, but again, I've only studied this briefly on YouTube <laughs> over the years, just in case I ever decided to come. But if you want, we can go across the river and walk back across that bridge. And if you want, we can go down to the river side there. But only if you want. Um. You know, just walk along here and then come back across that bridge and then we can start heading back in. But it'll give you a view of some of these buildings here a little better. Sun setting over the mountains, which is always pretty. I, I remember even when we were in uh, um, Garmisch, uh, Bergheim. Joyce and I are on the Zalzak River. It's about 7.40 in the evening here in Salzburg. What an amazing view. It's pretty here. I'm going to circle around and make Joyce circle around so we can get the castle behind us. There you go. The castle of Salzburg. Whoop, there we go, up there. Above Joyce's head, but it's evening here. But it's uh, yeah, it's, it's a little more that way, you can see the hills. Yeah, well, there you go. There you go. Ooh, watching that, we've been whoops, we're watching the sunset over the mountains. Try and get in there. I say, I gotta both tilt it down to get you in. Stop being, stop being so short. I know, I try not to. There we go. What's up? So that's our hike tomorrow, at least part of our hike. We're going to go up to the top of this hill to look across to what you can no longer see here. Um, we're really not in Salzburg to do a lot of mountain hiking, but there are a couple of things to go do. But now we're going to go across the pedestrian bridge and kind of start heading back. But the nice thing is you just get more views because Salzburg is in the mountains and you can see these old palaces and hotels. But that and there and then across, that's the quote happening area. As you can see, it goes up there. The hardest thing is going to be to find your 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 proper tourist shop. Like, okay, where do I get it? I'm assuming it'll be something in there, you know, back in back through these old building walls because these were some of the old city fortification walls at one time, and then they became palaces. And there, you can tell this used to be the back street of the city at one time because that's an old bathroom. That's an old bathroom, right? Yeah. You'd have those little protrusions because they would drop their, literally drop their, <laughs> that was the old bathroom on these old houses. But the sun is just above that tree line there behind the hill. And now you can see the other church tower See, that's why Salzburg's so interesting is I know what buildings look like and I kind of know where they are in relation to each other, but I don't know exactly where they are until I turn a corner and go, oh, there it is. Vienna's going to be crazier because Vienna's just wall packed. You have to buy a drone movie of Vienna. Yeah, the Hotel Zacher. Oh, there it is. The Hotel Zacher Salzburg. They're their second hotel after the main one in Vienna. But yes, you can go over there and get Zacher Torta. <laughs> Wait, am I talking you into it? <laughs> we could go get Zacher. We could stop by and see if they have Kugels. So we got all that other candy we bought. <laughs> but, uh, oh, just 
See, it's just a different view. And just, uh, you're in Salzburg, my love. Sotsak Inselbar. <laughs> We just walked across that bridge a few minutes ago and now we're on the pedestrian bridge. various waltz festivals and everything but that's Hotel Zachar which is a five-star not quality but in terms of price it is a it is a high-end hotel I think the cheapest is 500 a night now we're down at the riverside there is the castle again. The sun setting over the hill. Is that the only reason you think I shouldn't do it? All right, we'll have to do it tomorrow. I'll have to pack one tomorrow, I guess. Uh, you got the Hotel Bristol here. It's just, it's one of these cities. All right, we'll go. Sorry for people. Which hotel is this? Oh, the Hotel Zacher. So I'm not seeing a cafe. This is Zacher, who are famous for their Zacher Torta, their world famous cakes. Now they're based in Vienna, but the family then the family then extended into Salzburg and eventually to Innsbruck because they became the Emperor Franz Joseph back in the 1870s. They became his favorite snack. And because they were his favorite cake, they became Austria's favorite cake. Okay, yeah. We're, we're trying to work our way home, but we just keep stopping and finding all these beautiful... Gee, honey, did you read the door? Is this the Mozart Museum? Universität Mozarteum. Okay, Mozart's Geburtshaus. Is that what all of this is? I thought it was on the other side. So do those arrows mean, are they pointing like it's down there? Because that's where I think it is. Mozarteum Wolfsau, the Great Hall. The city that supported him, but definitely acts like <laughs> like they loved him while he was alive. Yeah. Oh, it's already started. Just casually strolling down Salzburg like it's no big deal. 
the second greatest art city of Austria after Vienna, although it might argue it's number one. The home of Mozart, and what better praise could you give a city than that? The city that he was born in, that he became first became famous in, although Mozart's fame was as a very young man, and then he kind of fell in. You know, you can't judge his life by the movie Amadeus. That's not accurate to how his life went. Just a random little church in Salzburg this evening, in the evening, sun going down. We just passed the Mozart University Music Hall and everything. Art kids playing, some other people hanging out. Yosef Copernic. And while we are in Salzburg, let's admire a statue of Copernicus. Yosef Torak. I believe he was Polish, wasn't he? Wasn't Copernicus Polish? Still at the far end of the Mozart University here. Mm -hmm. The Fogel House, the bird house. Museum and Pavilion. Now the Stadt Gallery. So this is now an art museum. Oh, pretty. All the different step ups and walk ups. Oh, there's another view. Oh, joys. Yeah. Yay for husbands saying, let's take the Back. park is one giant memorial to Kaiser Franz of Joseph. The whole park up there is one big memorial to him. Ah, oh, this is pretty. That's a view and a half right there. That's worth the price of admission. Yeah, well, that's a nice little view for taking a shortcut through a park, isn't it? Joyce. gonna go into the museum aren't they yeah oh the Lafron or Pegasus Joyce and I see free public seating a huge open area park we're going to investigate Remember that part about done taking pictures? Yeah. I think that's out the window, isn't it? Holy 
Holy cow. This is just as pretty as Charlottenhof in Berlin. God, imagine what Vienna would be like. Do it once in your life. Just, we were just gonna walk around, but we've just had one of the prettiest tours we've ever had. It has been beautiful and amazing walking through this town, and we haven't even gone into the main historical areas yet. Having a major music fest that just started a couple of days ago that's going on. This is the Mirabella. I can get it all in. There it is. Because why not the Mirabella? It is 8:30 and been, oops, one heck of a tour already in Salzburg, and we haven't even started yet. Although we still need to get back and do laundry. 